Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple development environment for PHP in Sublime Text. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and how to set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have Sublime Text open here with a folder, a PHP folder, and a test.php file open. Now Sublime Text has some shortcuts for PHP, some snippets that really help. So if I start to type my opening PHP tag and I, I type if and go down and hit tab or it's if else, I get this cool um, you know, snippet that goes out and I can you know, type a condition like let's say name triple equals uh, Tim, go here, tab down, and then I'll do something like I'll echo, hi, uh, name, maybe I have a new line there, and then I can you know, tab down here and maybe echo something like, um, I don't know who you are. And then say whatever their name is and have a new line character and so on. Okay, so that's pretty good, but we wanna have some, some code checking um, while we're doing this to catch any errors as we write the code. So we can do that and we need to install a couple packages. So first off, I'm gonna do Control Shift P to bring up the command palette. And I'm going to type package, and it's going to give me the option to install package control. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now it says package control was successfully installed. That's good. Now I'm going to do control shift P to bring back the uh, command palette, and I'll start to type package again. You see I've got all these package control options. I want to go down to install package. Okay, and the first thing I want to search for is LSP. And I'm going to search, uh, I find LSP, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, that's installed. I can close out this window. Now we want to also install another package. So I'm going to go to package control, install package, and I'll type in LSP IntelliFence. IntelliFence, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to install LSP IntelliFence. There we go. Okay, and it's going to say, hey, we don't have Node in your path. Do you want to download it? I'm going to say, yeah. So I'm going to click to download. Okay, and now once it's done with that, it's gonna install PHP IntelliFence. So once that's done, we'll restart Sublime Text and I'll show you um, what we're getting here, okay? Okay, and it went ahead and it was indexing. I'm gonna close out Sublime Text here and then, oh look, hey, it's my channel. And then we'll reopen Sublime Text, okay? And now let's say I just take out the semicolon here. It starts indexing. And look at that, it's, it's giving me an error. So if I hover over here, and it sits down in the status bar, unexpected uh, brace here. But basically what it's telling me is, hey, you've got to put a semicolon there. Okay, and now the error goes away. Pretty sweet. So that's pretty good. Now, I also want to be able to open up a terminal in Sublime Text and maybe run the PHP code right in the terminal. And that's easy to set up too. So what I'm going to do is Control Shift P, type in package, we want to install one other package, so I'm going to click install package, and I'm going to install terminus. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that install. Cool, so that's installed now, so now I can do control shift P and I can say open terminus, or type terminus open, and I get terminus open default shell and panel, or terminus open default shell and tab. I'm going to do it in the panel, and I've got a terminal down below, and I can type php test.php, and uh, run the file and we notice I've got to define my variable name. So let's do that. So I'm going to say name equals Tim. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to run it and it says, hi, Tim. If I change the name here to say Joe and save, go down here and run, it says, I don't know who you are, Joe. So you can run programs right there uh, in the terminal. So that's pretty much all there is. We've got some language server protocol checking for PHP, and we've also got the ability to run files right from the terminal. So that's all I would do. I'd like to have simple setups for uh, coding, but yeah, I think that's gonna give you a good PHP development environment. If you have favorite packages that I didn't mention for PHP, make sure to comment in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like as it'll help the video out a lot. Thank you.